Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed about so many different types of angles, it is time to talk about types of lines. Now again here also we will not talk about individual lines, rather we will talk about pair of lines. So the two common types of lines that we will talk about are the parallel lines and the intersecting lines. Now what do you see on the screen? You see the railway track. Now have, if, if you have ever traveled by a train, uh, then you would have and if you have observed the railway lines, you would have seen that normally the railway lines, they run together. I mean, two lines, they are always like running in such a way that the distance between the two lines remain the same throughout. So these type of lines would be called parallel lines. Whereas at certain places you will see that that one line crosses over another line at a particular point. So these type of lines would be called the intersecting lines. So railway track is one such example where you get to see intersecting lines as well as parallel lines I mean at the same place. So now we are going to talk about these two types of lines in more detail. So let's start with parallel lines. So these are lines which do not meet and maintain the same distance between them. So when you have two lines like this, such that the distance between them remain the same. So the distance at this place and the distance at this place, they will remain the same and the lines will continue to uh, extend infinitely and still the distance between the two lines will remain the same. So that means these two lines will never meet because they, there will always be this particular distance between them. So they will neither meet nor will they appear to meet. So these lines are called parallel lines. Whereas when we talk about intersecting lines, these lines, they have a common point because they cross over each other at a particular point. And this point where they cross over each other, this point is called the point of intersection because this is the point where they meet. Now, basically, you might have examples like this where you do not see two lines actually meeting. For example, these two lines. What will you tell? Are they parallel lines or they, inter or they are intersecting lines? Because in this case, these two lines do not really have a common point. Whatever is shown on the screen that shows that they do not have a common point. But does that mean that they are parallel lines? No, because they do not satisfy the condition for parallel lines. In order to be parallel lines, the distance between the two lines need to be same throughout. But here on one side, the distance is this much and on the other, other side, the distance is decreasing. So what is this picture showing? This, this is showing that the two lines have not met yet, but they will meet soon. So if you kind of extrapolate these lines, they are going to meet at a point. So basically these type of lines will also fall under the category of intersecting lines. Only those lines where the distance between the two lines remain constant throughout, they will fall under parallel lines. So let, let us look at this example. This is also an example of intersecting lines where the two lines have a common point. So this is the point of intersection and these two are the intersecting lines. Let us look at some interesting examples of parallel and intersecting lines. Let's think of this table. So where do you see parallel lines and where do you see intersecting lines? So in this case, when you look at these two sides of the table, what do you see? They, they represent parallel lines because you see the distance between them is maintained the same, right? So had this table been tapered towards one end, in that case, these two have not been parallel lines. But in this case, the distance between the two lines have been maintained the same. Therefore, we can say that these are parallel lines. Whereas when you look at this line and this line, they intersect at a point. They have a common point. So they represent intersecting lines. 
You look at any such example, whether you talk about uh, an Almira where you can actually compare these shelves. So the shelves are arranged parallel to each other. You see there, the distance between them is maintained the same throughout. Whereas when you compare this side with this side, they are intersecting lines because they meet at a common point. You look at this uh, stool. So when you look at the three legs of the stool, do you think that they are parallel? So now they are slightly slanted. So basically the distance between the two legs here and the distance between them here are different. So that is why these two lines do not represent parallel lines. They are also intersecting lines which are not intersecting right now, but they appear to meet. So they also fall under the category of intersecting lines. Similarly, you can look at a window pane and there also you can see both parallel and intersecting lines. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.